Hello guys, welcome to Home IO video lesson. In this video, we are going to see how to interface analog circuits with Home IO via DAC card. All right, we will be reading and writing analog voltage in the DAC card and further in the Home IO. So let's take the first example. We have here brightness sensor. All right, now let's take this in the connect IO. Now this brightness sensor reading we are going to read on our multimeter right here you can see in the screen we have a multimeter we are going to read the signal in voltage 0 to 5 volt by variation of this brightness sensor by by variating the luminance outside the day and this sensor will read the luminance and will give the proportional voltage thereby so the voltage will be like if there is 100 percent luminance it will give 5 volts if there is 0 percent it will give me 0 volt so let's see that how to get a signal of voltage from the sensor virtual sensor in the physical multimeter all right, so let's go to the connect IO. This is the DAC card, and we have the stack brightness sensor analog. All right, now we know that this analog uh, bit is going to give us range of zero to eight volts. Okay, but this DAC card has uh, capability to give range of zero to five volt. So we have to convert. We have to scale zero to eight volts to zero to five volts. So the multiplication factor is 0.625 if you multiply 8 with 0.625 you get 5 so we have to multiply this by a floating value 0.625 which we can get which we can get from this numerical and by a multiplication function we need scaling because otherwise it will give 0 to 8 which is not the, the required so multiplication by 0.625 so let me scale that we cannot have we can have 0.62 that will be okay as well now this out goes to AD0, AO0, this is analog output 0, alright, this is how we have to make the logic here. And to see how DAC card is wired in this case, is here. This is our DAC card and this is the analog output going to the positive lead of the multimeter, analog ground is going to the negative lead, black lead. So to see that in the diagram you can see here, this is the multimeter and let me just turn it on. This is this is set to VDC voltage DC voltage. All right. This is connected to by terminal blocks from here to analog inputs in the DAC card. Okay. This is the same DAC card. Advantage USB 4704. So now this is multimeter is already connected. Now let's do let's go to home IO connect IO and take a bit to start DAC card. I need a bit to run this one sorry not this one source bit yes this one to run the DAC card okay now when I run the DAC card you will find this multiplication is going on and we have a voltage 3.7 volts on the multimeter all right we have a closer look 3.7 volts now this is the voltage corresponding to the luminance of the sensor all right luminance not the sensor but the daylight sensor is reading the luminance and converting that into some bits which we converted into into the range of 0 to 5 volt by this multiplication and the stack card now let's see the variation of this voltage let me just this is there and now this is the home IO and if I change this home IO to dark if I increase the time let's go to 9 in the evening have a look this value is going to increase because it's a daytime so we have 5 volt maximum volt at the multimeter because of the maximum luminance now it's getting dark so value is decreasing so you can see that voltage is also decreasing in the multimeter this is the physical voltage so at night your voltage decreases so we have approximately 0.2 uh, volts which is 212 millivolts so if I go back to day so I go back to 6 in the morning you'll find change in the voltage as well as the luminance increases voltage increases first you find the bits increase and corresponding voltage increase here as well it's 3.8 volts so we have seen that we have configured this analog sensor feedback with 0 to 5 volt in our multimeter you can use the 0 to 5 volt for other purposes as well you can fading you can do the fading of light or you can use for any physical activity you want to perform or you, you can actually have uh, analog light in physical mode and you can 
have a light instead of the multimeter which will work based on the virtual sensor inside the home IO. That's how you can do the connectivity. So this is the one of the example how you can get voltage from the DAC card based on the sensor signal inside the home IO, the signal, alright. Now let's see how we can interface our external potentiometer which is over here. This external potentiometer with the DAC card and thereby controlling the light of home IO, alright. This potentiometer is connected to my DAC card. How it is connected? Have a look at this figure. This is my potentiometer and its external leads. We have three leads. The extreme leads left and right is connected to 5 volt. This one is going to 5 volt over here. And the other one is going to analog ground. Now based on the position of this wiper, this lead will give you 0 to 5 volt. Which is connected to AIO, analog input channel 0. Alright, so I'm going to rotate this wipe. So this stack card will, uh, will receive 0 to 5 volt signal which I'm going to give to the analog light of this room, of this smart house, okay. So let's go to the connector and see how we can do that. So this is the floating value coming from the potentiometer. If you want to have a look, have a look at this one. Right now it's at extreme end, okay. If I rotate it, you'll find the value is being increased up to 5 volts, 4.93. Okay, so this potentiometer is giving signal to my connectile, connectile DAC card interface. We have to give the signal to the home IO light, alright. So in that case, let's take the tag, bright nice light pool analog, this one, light Porsche analog and light Porsche 2 analog, okay. Now we have to multiply this range 0 to 5 by 2 because the scaling of the slide is 0 to 10. We need to give 10 volts here, 10 bits here, numerical value to have 100% luminance. This is coming 0 to 5. So to, to scale 0 to 5 to 0 to 10, we have to multiply this by factor 2. So let's take an example here. This is my numerical value. I can have the maximum value as 2 and I need a multiplication paste and this factor goes here and this goes here and this goes here. Now right now potentiometer is at zero. Now let's see the variation. If I vary this potentiometer you will find the values increasing by the factor of two. This is at five and that is at ten. To, to see the difference in the home IO, have a look. Now this is 100% luminance, this potentiometer is here. If I rotate back, light intensity decreases. Okay, again it's increasing, then it's decreasing. That's how you can do the interfacing of home IO with external controls. To see all three together, let me just adjust the size, this one here. That's the value coming from AIO in floating value. This is a multiplication. Um, this is a multiplication vector and that's a floating value going to the home. Let's see again. Right now it's 20% light, 30%, 40, 50, 60, 70 and 100%. So that's how, that's the way to interface your physical circuits outside the DAC card, outside here is the DAC card connected to potentiometer, connected to multimeter and the home IO box over there. So that's how we can interface our circuits using the Advantage DAC card 4704 which is compatible with Connect IO user interface. Alright, if you have any query post a comment below this video, I'll, video, I'll get back to you. Thank you.